Welcome to OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to talk about Load Runner's controller. In the last session, we have created a script where user goes to the pet store, selects a category, product, and then an item, and adds that to the shopping cart. And when you run from the virtual user generator, it mimics how one user will run that. Now, what we are going to do is, if 10 users run that way, if 15 users run that way, what will happen? That's what we are going to see now. To mimic multiple users, we need to go to the load runner. In this one, instead of choosing the virtual user generator, we will use controller. Controller is the one that has the license for so many users. This is an evaluation copy. You can use it only for strictly learning purposes, not for commercial purposes. If you want to use for commercial purposes, please talk to con uh, HP contact their sales support. Now, once you get in, it opens up the controller. In the controller, we need to start the script. You need to assign the script. Okay, I try to execute this program. Go to HP Load Runner, Applications, Controller. It shows this. Then it gives me this error. This is because I logged in as a different user, training user in this machine. So, I install this program as administrator. Now I go inside. I go to this applications. Go to controller. Rather than clicking it, I say right click. Now I say run as administrator. Once I say run as administrator, okay. Allow this particular program to run. Now it shows the same thing. This time it does not fail. So, you need to be, when you install it as administrator, you need to run it as administrator. Now what I'm going to do is, I want to create a manual scenario. If I uncheck this, I have to give absolute number of users rather than a percentage. You see the PET01 script that I have created using virtual user generator. Now I add that to the scenario. Click OK. The moment I do that, it shows me this is the group name page 01 this is the script and it shows the scenario schedule as scenario now what I want to do is I click this basic schedule okay fine I want to make it as a basic schedule I want to start with say five users just say five users enter that quantity once I set this basic schedule it gives me an opportunity to change this quantity as 5. Now I change it as 5. It says run until completion. Okay, let it run as long as the script takes. Now I save this scenario as uh, pet scenario 1. The extension is .lrs. Now I save this. Let me run this. Once I select this scenario, 5 users, I say run, fine. When it is running, if I click this view users, you could see five users running. Now all the users are hitting the server, doing whatever the single user was doing using VUGen script. So it runs it. So now five users are running. If I want to make it as 10 users, all I need to do is go back to the design tab. There are three tabs, design, run and diagnostics. Diagnostics is a separate topic. Now I am under design tab. Now I am making this as 10. Save this. Now I run this. When I run this, if you click here, it says 10 users are running. It depends upon the number of users and the license you have got. This evaluation copy I think has got 25 users for about 10 days of license. So you can do, use this for learning purposes. Now the next thing what I want to do is, I want to run it for 25 users. Just go there, change it to 25, save, run. Now you could see 25 users running the same script. So the load testing using load runner is that easy. You create the script, configure the number of users in controller, 
for that you need to have a license a mail copy has only 25 users license so 25 users each user will execute the same script in parallel that is why they are all simultaneous users or concurrent users with respect to the system so in this session what we have done is we ran the controller as administrator pulled in the users the script to the scenario we added 5 users 10 users and then 25 users we ran we ran the basic schedule of it now all the users were given the instruction duration as run until completion okay now let me double click when I double click it says until completion I can also set a time run for say uh, two minutes this is the hour this is the this is the days this is the hour minutes and seconds now I'm changing this to run for two minutes apply click OK now I save this previously when I ran it it finished within 16 17 seconds now I'm saying 25 users run for two minutes just watch when I run this you see 25 users hitting the system continuously for two minutes so when you want to run endurance tests or availability tests for a longer time you create the script pull that script into the scenario configure the number of users specify how long the script should run start with a smaller number say 5 users 10 users 25 users same way start with 2 minutes 3 minutes 5 minutes 10 minutes gradually increase the time do not start running a large number of users right at the first shot do not try to run 100 users right at the first shot do not try to run for 3 hours start slow gradually increase so that you will know at what point your application starts slowing down and at what point the application breaks but for all large user tests you need to procure licenses from HP so now you could see the test is going on I can close this window you could see in this runtime graphs 25 users are running the hits are going to the system like this so you could see really the test is running using the runtime things and nothing failed so far there was no page failure or a component failure and it's all going on okay so 25 users are running so you could see a visual representation of the whole test as and when it runs okay now how many hits are going it shows over here what is the throughput if I double click the throughput means what is the number of bytes it is transferring from the server to the client you could see almost like 300 uh, kilobytes per second it is able to transfer since it is local host it is pretty fast so you could see the response time hits throughput everything within this now you could see all the users are gradually exiting because we have finished the two minutes it will not chop off all the users exactly at the second minute because if you go to the design we say stop at two minutes but when the run if you see it finished two minutes and 12 seconds that means exactly at two minutes it will not abort all the users it will allow all the users to complete the script and then gracefully and gradually exit so in this session we have learned how to pull the script into a scenario in controller how to run controller as administrator then how to configure the number of users how to configure the duration of the test using basic schedule thank you